custom authorization with JWT, biometric verification and map data type are some of the new features on this week. Hi, I'm Wesley Jacobs and this is Velo Flutterflow channel. You can now authenticate users using secure JSON web tokens. This allows you to combine Firebase's powerful features, for example, push notifications, with your own custom authentication. Let's check how it works and where we can find it. So here I have some of the login pages. Click into the button, to the login button. Go into Action Flow Editor, pressing Add Action, and here we need to find Authorization, Firebase Authentication. And what we've got here, we need Login. And here with Auth Provider, we need to take JWT Token. We have one unset field, so we are going to Authenticate it User and choosing JWT Token. Everything is set, and that's how it works. Also, Flutterflow put the link to learn more about Firebase plus JWT tokens. I will add this link in the description. So, next, map data type. Flutterflow now supports map data types for Firestore. This allows you to organize your Firestore data in a more structured manner and reuse data types across different collections tables. For example, you can create an address data type and store it on a user's collection. Here we have example. I made it before when I've tried to realize how it works. Let me try to make one more data type. Okay, let's try. I'm pressing plus. And for example, it will be a user contact information. Create. And Let's try to uh, configure its schema. We're adding field, for example, name. It will be not integer, it will be string, create, next surname. Also string. The next one is phone number. I think it's better to take integer. Next one is email. And this is also will be string. Okay, let's create it. Next step is we are going to our users collection and add the field. Field name will be the same as our data type. It will be a user contact information okay and here in the field we taking data type and configuring which one because we have address and user contact information so create and and it's done it's working right here let's try to check it in ui how it works with UI. Here I have user profile page and let's try to configure uh, how much text fields we will need to check our user contact information. So uh, we have four fields here so I think on the page we need the same. Okay now let's try to connect it. Yeah. So we are going to label text set from variable, authenticated user, user contact information, and choosing the name, confirm. Next one will be surname the same way. Okay, let's try, let's check surname. Okay, confirm. And the next one will be email. Oop, oop. email and a phone number here here and here yep right now we are set up for fields from our data type 
And OK, now it works. The new biometric verification action allows you to use face or fingerprint verification for authentication or to add additional security within your app. For example, require biometric check to show account balance. OK, let's try. I think it also has to be on the login page, right? Let's click on the button, open action flow editor. Here we will add action with authorization, right? And biometric verification, here is it. We have a couple of fields here. So we have biometric reason text. Please specify the reason you are using biometric verification. Be sure to mention the reason you are asking for the user's biometric. OK, let's um, type here login. Login. And we need also action output variable name. Give the return net value from the custom action. If it has one, a variable name. OK, this variable will be accessible under action output later in the action flow or elsewhere. And OK, let's, let's try. Type all in. Also, here we have biometric verification error. And we need to put variable name. Let's try biometric. Something like that. It works. Let's go on. Common palette. Flutterflow added a common palette to help you more quickly navigate the Flutterflow builder. Now, with just one click, you can access your app themes, view your code, duplicate a page, etc. You can access the common palette at the top of the builder or by pressing Common Control plus K. Let's try. Let's find out. Here is Show Common Palette. What the shortcut? Common K. Yeah, it works. And what can we do here? Actually, I think we can search something. Let's try Firestore. Mm -hmm. And here we have, for example, app settings. Go to register, tabs, widget tree. Let's try the first one. And we linked to, to the settings page to the Firebase. That's nice, that's fast. Let's try to find something more. For example, here I see add. Let's type something. Let's add a folder. We should type a folder name, so test and submit. And we have here a new folder, right? That's nice, that's much faster. Then clicking three or four times to find this one small button here. I like it. Let's move on. Project Autosave and Restore. Flutterflow made some big upgrades to project versioning. We now autosave a project snapshots for you every five minutes. We added the ability to pick into project versions and snapshots before you restore an earlier version. Now you can be sure you're restoring the right version. Let's check this out, guys. Okay, so what we've got here, project history, versions, and snapshots. Let's check the, uh, the versions uh, tab was here before, right? We can also say right now, for example, uh, our test version, our test, okay, save. Here we can find the second version of our application and let's check the snapshots, okay. And here is a lot, a lot, a lot 
of links. For example, we can press the pick button and check the snapshot of our application that was made, I think, let me check, three minutes ago, okay. Okay, here we have snapshot view button with sign read only and this is the version of our application that i did i think three minutes ago yeah four four minutes ago and this page you need to check what kind of version you have here right if you if you took the wrong version you can take for example 12 minutes ago and then you can go back to snapshots and take the version with revert button yeah here we have pop up revert project to snapshot i will take for never mind because because i didn't have a lot of changes done so let's move on Gradient and box shadow templates. Gradients and box shadows are small detail that can really elevate your design. We've added new templates to make it even easier. Incorporate these design features into your app. And this is really, really, really useful feature, guys. Okay, guys, let's take a container. I'll put 100% width let's make 20 pixels padding and let's go to the box shadow settings right here we have here a template button so let's check this out okay this is small one yep and large one yeah it works and it it is much faster than to set up this all of these settings for box shadow let's move to the gradient okay turn it on and the same button with templates let's check this is first second and three color gradient and I would like to check the copy style button. Yeah, copy. Let's let's put another one container. I'll set it up quickly. Yep. Yep. And let's move to the gradient. And we have here the paste button. Okay. Yeah. So right now we have the same templates on each container that's nice and now you can set up gradients much 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 more faster really good other improvements added ability to pass action to custom widgets without parameters added ability to set on change action when text field widget is selected Added ability to copy paste gradients, box shadows, and border radius. Oh, we didn't check the border radius. Let's try. <laughs> Here, border radius, yeah. Let's put 16 pixels. Copy style. Let's check before pasting. We have different corners. And let's paste here and it works this is really nice guys this is really improving our workflow and this is much faster added ability to use variables for phone authorization bug fixes fixed issue with calendar widget styling fixed issue with file names containing characters not allowed by by github Fixed issue with the internationalized for the date picker. Fixed an issue with alignment for the blur widget. Fixed issue with play sound action set from a variable. Fixed an issue with the barcode scanner. There's a lot of bug fixes. 
New features Flutter Flow working on. Bar charts and pie charts. These are features that I'm waiting for because I like charts and you should. MUX integration. Action to request permissions. So as always, Flutterflow made a lot, a lot, a lot of updates for the week. A lot of improvements, a lot of bug fixes. God, I love this thing. I am Wesley Jacobs and this is We Love Flutterflow channel. Like, subscribe and see you in the next video.